Uh, just a quick one uh, before we start the actual video proper. I need to go do some cleanup, so I will see you jumping around as I do the cleanup. First order of business is to repair this toaster. I went to the trouble of actually doing it, so I might as well repair it. Do myself a toaster helmet. Keep your head nice and toasty. Right, moving on. Second order of business is I need to go find that gold-plated cable that I sold. I've got a few places I think it could be, either Ranger HQ or I think it could be in the bazaar, so I'm going to go find it. Okay, I've just seen a cyber fist um, that gives me melee damage bonus. Just need cyborg tech to work. Um, it's 360 money. I'm going to buy it though because more melee is more good. And I can always give uh, Betty the, the implant of doom. Anyway, carrying on. I fucking found it. Okay. Hopefully this robot's still here. Um, I sold it to the robot just outside of the machine commune. I just went through all of my videos again. Trawling through trying to find where I sold it. Um, and I found it. Right. Also, while we're here, let's just give her the cyborg implant. Let's do it. Let's give her all the cyborg tech you could ever want. I bought this thing, let's use it. I am Cyborg. You can now equip Cyborg mods. Yes. So, that Cyborg mod I bought. Mog? Mod. This isn't quite fancy. Um, to give me more power. In my feast. Where has it? Where hath it gone? The sun's kind of glaring in my eyes. I can't really see very well. But it's here somewhere. I just need to find the other things that need cyborg mods. Oh, here. Here we go. So I get rid of hard ass and gives me more power again. So that's for next level then. Yeah, they're all utility, aren't they? Yeah. I see. Okay, well I didn't know that, but now I do. So, other accessories. The star, the badge thing. Let me put that back on. Let me just sort it out. My inventory is a hot mess. There it is. Yeah, when I when I can do it, I will. All right. So to Denver. See you when I get there. But I'm pretty sure merchants keep their inventories. So yellow. Again. You may recall that I am the Show us your wares. Right. Yes. Good. I'll buy that back. As you pull this shimmering piece from the now repaired appliance, you realise you now have all the components needed to build a brand new golden toaster. Each piece slots perfectly together, seeming to become an unbroken hole as the mica sheeting wrapped in nichrome wire slides into the casing and spark travels along the bevel. As the energy dissipates, you can make out block lettering. Congratulations, Master Toaster Repairman. You and your toaster are ready for what comes next. Toaster Repair Academy 40.08173. Dash 103.127031. Thanks, buddy. Alright. Okay, so now back to the Kodiak again. Where I will leave. No beep beep. This way. Go to the Kodiak. It's hard to remember a Colorado before the Patriarch. Even for me. He's always been a part of this place. Sure is the chill. But perk up, listeners. Nothing lasts forever. Once the old buzzard's dead, we can rise up and... Wait, I haven't seen a buzzard in years. I wonder if... Rangers, this location has numerous depictions of Elder Statesman Reagan. Who created them? 
The Gippers, we killed them, but they worship Reagan as a god. Misguided idolaters, stealing the face of a great man for their twisted beliefs. The world is better without them. I monitored many things as I was trapped underground, but now I realize the information available to me was severely limited. Somehow I have no knowledge of these Gippers, and they were so close by. Okay, so with all of that done, I will see you in a second when I'm back at the place I'm supposed to be to carry on the game. <laughs> see you in a second. Welcome back, everyone, to Wasteland 3. Um, the bit before was the first part of the uh, video. Now we're going to go to the Toaster Repair Academy, which I unlocked with those latitude and longitude coordinates. The shining bastion of the ancient art of toaster repair. Because I got the golden toaster. I spent some time doing it, so I might as well make the most of it. Let's see. I've clearly never ever done this before. I have no idea what this is about. If I have a look. Armor crate. The Spectrum Assault Legs. Okay. Vipo. The Tesla Arc Projector Flamethrower. Needs a big gun. I haven't got a big gun. I've only got a small gun. The javelin rocket, which is a better rocket than the other rocket. Yeah, it, it's better. I, I knew it would be better, but it is better. And I've still got my better so uh, my machine gun waiting for me when I level up once more. Although it's unlikely to happen. It could happen one day. Yeah, sorry. Where was I? Yeah, let's keep going. The Verkaiten armor, the Verkaiten helmet, and the Verkaiten legs. I mean... Quan, have you got nine strength? No. Lucy hasn't got nine. Can't really equip it on them. Oh, I can't equip it. Am I going to put it on Banshee? Really? Yeah, fuck it. Fucking 67 armor sniper. <laughs> Why not? Cool. I know I sound like I'm being... Uh... Fake. But I really mean it. It's, it's cool. <laughs> Banshee's now essentially invincible. To any damage except, uh, you know, sustained fire from energy weapons. The Distingu Distinguished Annals of Toast Repair, Volume 16. Or 14. 14. The thin filaments of wire extend from a toaster-shaped niche in the marble altar. The pattern of connectors seem to match the base of the golden toaster you assembled. Place the golden toaster on the altar. For a moment, nothing happens. Then a low hum emerges from deep below your feet. Ah. Ding. Courageous. Toaster expert. Who got the toaster? I guess it must be me. <laughs> I've got a 2,000 health toaster as a friend. Okay then. So it's another unit I have to watch out for because it's probably melee. But, you know, it's a toaster. It's cool. Right. Now we can go back to where we were supposed to go. Over to Yuma County. Looks like it's over here. Using the map to get this waypoint system is actually pretty useful. Right now I need to go over and fight a bunch of people. Just to kill everyone. If Grey can somehow level up again, I highly doubt it will happen. But if he can somehow level up again, I'll get to 8. Easily. You very rarely need 10. 
just take advantage of the train. You think I've got time to fight you guys? No. I ain't got time. I gotta go speak to Wolf. Take advantage of the train to escape. Bye bye. See you later, scar collectors. I'm out of here. Yeah, it's uh, 8 o'clock at night. I'm recording a bit late because I'm doing other things tomorrow, so I don't really want to uh, wait around. Right. Got shit I need to do. Very important things. Also, Banshee looks like a cool alien now, so. You know? It's nice. An otherworldly being. Beyond comprehension and space and time. It's very, very, very unnecessary. I'm gonna kill you now. If I have the option, I'll shoot him in his stupid fucking head. What the fuck are you pansy asses doing out here? The man's nearing you is Gary Wolf, the merc with a serious hate on for since. None of your fucking business, Wolf. Ooh, scary. I'm shaking in my little boots. But words don't mean shit out here, you synth loving simps. Liberty and the scar collectors don't make deals with pussies. They only hire true mercs like us. So get lost or get dead. You want us dead? Now's a chance. Motherfuckers. Here's your chance, buddy. Okay, let's think about this. That'll do for that. That's all I need to do. Try and stun as many people as we can. There we go. I got the whole squad stunned. What about it? Pew, 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 pew. Biatch. Okay. I'm gonna do 75% extra shot damage. Or maybe even 100%. Oh yeah. Maybe. Very good. Cool. Now then. Move forward. Stunning is so strong. It's not hard to be impressed by the amount of damage it does either. Lucy, what the fuck are you doing over there? I mean, I guess the wolf's over there too. How's my toaster doing? Just chilling. Uh, okay, the toaster shoots big toast. Big old toast. That's great. I mean, it does fuck all damage. But it burns people, I'm guessing. That's the draw. Okay, VAP, not enough to do any damage, but that's fine. Hello! You love to see it. Get washed a bit. How about this for synth living Simpson? That's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. Oh, there's a level 10 toaster. But I don't need to know what's in it. I simply don't care. Because I've already got Courageous, and who else? What, what else do I need in this planet than Courageous? The toaster that could. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Right. How can they stand it? Why don't they rise up? Rise on this. No! 
shoot again. Nice shoot. Oh, we're in. I don't know who else is going to be here. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, that the fight wouldn't end. Now we left thinking, why? Shooting from somewhere. What's Grey got? You can hit them from here. Interesting. Are going to die. There's a lad here. Erastus Dorsey. The big lad, in fact. The lad. Taking down his, uh... uh like his, uh, shielding one by one. Damage his armor. Still a, point, a hunter over there. A bit spooky, but. Oh well. None of them are that spooky. So for me to be like super worried or anything. Take a shot. That's yeah, worth it. It was a good shot in the end. You will never get this. I am far too strong for you. Thank you for the heal, though. Appreciate it. Yeah, this toaster does not have good uh, pit chance. I mean, it is a toaster. But he's trying his best. you got to stop hitting the ammo box, though. Bye. Come on. Go and get him. There's two people left. Who's left now? Down there. The turret's down there. Pretty sure that's what we're talking about. Okay, now Banshee, can you move? No. Now Grey, can you move? Yes. Joey, can you go? Which means that Banshee can then go. Shoot across the way. Beautiful shooting. Where are you going? Are oh, you going to try a path all the way around? Yeah, that's what I thought you might do. But I don't need you to go do that. <laughs> like fish in a barrel. Nice. Let's take a few shots. There you go. Right. The whole Dorsey clan is dead, basically. Everyone worth talking about, anyway. A 
Also, I never got to get this ammo, this grenade box, did I? I don't think so. Maybe I did, but I don't think I did. Yeah, I think I forgot. I forgot. There we go. It's only worth one plasma grenade. Is it that big of a deal? No, but it was worth it. Okay. You always need to level up again. Grey leveling up again is entirely dependent on whether we get more um, things we need to level up. Let's go have a look in here. This feels like a big fighting arena. Ooh, you can smell the burning rubber here at Yuma County Speedway as we head into the final laps of the Cactus Cup. It's been neck and neck this afternoon as Allison Rodriguez and Daryl Stone have led the pack. But now Sammy Martinez is coming up on the high side trying to pass Stone. Coming into the straightaway, Rodriguez has the lead. Stone switches to the inside. Here comes Rodriguez. We've got a three-way fight for the lead. This is going to be whoa. Stone hit Rodriguez. Martinez can't get out of the way. And, and now he's hit Stone. Stone and Martinez are locked together as both cars are on fire. We've got a red flag, an emergency cruiser trying to reach the car. So, oh, man, this looks bad. Arena helmet. Cute. When we get down to not needing uh, technical things anymore, it's just like the last fight. We should just pick things that have the highest armor, whether they give us good things or not. So, but I've got to keep the cowboy hat on until the end. That's, that's the rules. I don't make the rules, except I make the rules. You kind of like the silly noises the toaster makes. I'm going to be honest. I enjoy it. I'm sorry, I do. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. I too would make silly noises if I were unfettered by my own self-consciousness. Okay, I mean I still do make silly noises sometimes. No, no. Um, but it's just like a no. I don't even know if it's like a nervous tick or whether it's just something I've always done. I've always done it. Let's have words. Now, because we've gone about killing all of the people. Um, I'm pretty sure all of these places would have been places we'd have to fight people. But because they're all dead, we don't have to fight anyone. Or we don't have to fight many people anyway. We have to fight some people, but not many. Yeah, the Payasos would have been here. But they're dead. Because of my extremely good killing ability. I mean, none of this shit's worth looking at, really, but... I'll take stuff, because it's, it's free money and bullets and whatever. And then the Scar Collectors would have been here. But they're also dead. Just makes my life easier. Now, whether we can actually take liberty huh. without a fight... But I know who's in there. Whether we can actually do it without a fight or not, we don't know, but... Drill saws, actuators, and scalpel stone with blood cover this workbench. I'm supposed to to collect their scars. This apparatus doesn't seem to be powered on at the moment. But we make ourselves into a scar collector. Alright, mate. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve any of this. Hmm. I wasn't here. I don't know if that's true or not. Itchy capsule. High explosive capsule. Flame saw cannon that suits saw blades. Finally a chance to use the saw blades, but I haven't got big guns. I'm not about to start now either. Okay. Dorsies. Imogen Dorsey? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's 
it's a, the Jew harp is a very funny instrument. Don't you know any rabbit ding ding Everyone step back. I don't think they can hit us from here. If we get into positions to shoot them. Ah, the range damage for us for being reckless, that's what it is. I was like, what is this yellow triangle I've got on me? For being reckless. Come on then. You fool. You dare step to me. Yes, you can shoot better from there, which is what I feared you might be able to do. Banshee cares not for your bullshit. Just 67 armor. In a fairly open environment, the toaster can get some good hits in. Because it also has quite a lot of AP, the toaster. Don't be scaled, except for all those things you should be scaled of. Okay, Marshall Quant. Bye. I did damage him twice. <laughs> Actually, you don't need to. Better you'll handle this. Bye. Okay, I might need all the rest of my punches to kill this thing. I oh, now I don't need to. I'll try one more punch just to see if I can get the, the turret to be stunned, which is what happened. Okay. Yeah, possible instant kill. Beautiful. Take the shot here, why not? It's worth a go. 42. Only like two bullets need to hit. Yeah. I like those odds. Now I can get to work shooting this shotgun. This turret, sorry. With my shotgun. Jury no word good sometimes, okay? Jury no word good a lot. Honestly. We'll handle this. The wolf and cat squad. Good job, Toaster. If you told me I could have got a sentient Toaster in this game, I probably wouldn't have believed you. But this game, you know, like Wasteland 2, is weird. There's lots of weird things. Now, what I do remember in Wasteland 2 is that I never used Animal Whisper because I thought it was rubbish. Maybe it was just as good in Wasteland 2 and I'd forgotten. But I feel like they've upgraded it in Wasteland 3 to make it much more tenable. That could just be misremembering. Shaolin surprise. There you go. Bye bye. Okay, nice. If anything, if nothing else, the toaster is uh, model support, which I respect. I have, I have all the time in the world for this toaster right now. thing I've learned is that basically first aid is overrated as a skill. I shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Through the door you hear the harsh commands of Liberty Buchanan directing our Dorsey guard. The sustain in her tone is pal palatable. Leave it closed. Okay. 
Have I got any of the missions I need to complete? We have to locate. We have to go locate Percival Wesson. Okay, so let me save here. Just in case I fuck this up somehow. Right, open the door. Hello. The Arizona Rangers. I was wondering what made my shaky little coalition of pawns self destruct. I guess I should have it's killed me. you the first time I met you. Live and learn. And now you're here to demand I go back to my father, who, don't tell me, promised to help you in return. And the sad thing is, he'll actually do it. All because in a world of warlords, he wants his idiot idea of civilization to spread. He wants borders, trading, alliances. The old fool thinks helping you will make you a friend to rely on, when really, it will only make you strong enough to attack him later. Why can't he see the simple truth? That only by ruling everything and everyone can one truly have peace. Only in empire is there stability. You don't want peace. You want submission. Submission for my subjects. Peace for me. And you, intentionally or not, have made achieving that peace just a little bit easier. How so? You've got both my brothers locked up in your headquarters. All the eggs I want to crack are in one basket. So, thanks. You're welcome. Happy to help. Is that sarcasm? Well, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm... Liberty Buchanan? My name is Lucia Wesson. And I call you out for the deaths of my family and the kidnapping of my father. Return him to me without delay. Also, I demand no, no. satisfaction from you. Gun to gun. Don't say that, Lucia. That'll have to wait until we're done here. But you can speed the proceedings and the release of your father if you switch sides and fight me. No, thank you, Miss Buchanan. I know what my father would say to such a proposal. Unfortunately, it's not fit for polite company. Or yours. Then you'll have no one to blame but yourself when he dies, will you? Now, where were we? Oh, right. Whatever ultimatum you're here to give me, I'll save you the trouble and give you one of my own. Go back to Arizona, Rangers, and I'll pretend none of this happened. Stay, and you die alone, far from home. What do you say? You're the one who'll die alone. With your army gone, the other gangs will turn on you like wolves. Your only hope is your father's mercy. Oh, they wouldn't dare. I'd... I'd... Oh, I suppose it's true. The warlords don't like a loser. And they will see this as a defeat. Fine. I can play the penitent daughter until the old man dies. My time will come. You're a prisoner. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead, Team November. Uh, we've got the BB cannon live and ready for lockup. That's amazing, November 1. How did, uh, well, you know what? Never mind. I'd rather hear this one in person. Transport is inbound to pick up one Liberty Buchanan. Well done, Team November. Over and out. It's actually easier than I thought. Okay, well. I'll take everything you want to give me. So I wonder if any of those had worked. I guess nerd stuff wouldn't have actually um, stopped her. It would have just made it so that it's easier to kill her. I don't think kiss ass would have worked either. I just had to, you know, she has nothing but cold hard logic to deal with. So I was like, okay, well, logically, all of the gangs are dead. You're fucked. 
they haven't got a big, you know, control or like a, a, a hierarchy anymore. Looking my best, these savages haven't allowed me a bath or a change of clothes since they kidnapped me. I'm Percival Wesson of the Hundred Families. Daddy? Oh, thank God I found you. I've been praying for this day. Peaches, you're alive. I, I can't believe it. I, I was so afraid that. <laughs> oh, but Daddy. Mama and little Percy are dead. The Dorseys killed them in the Garden of the Gods. I, I couldn't, I couldn't protect. Hush, Lucia, hush. You would have saved them if it was possible to do so. I know that. Aren't you the bravest daughter that ever was? I, I tried to be, Daddy. I went after Nelius Dorsey to get my revenge. The rangers and I found him and confronted him. You, uh, you talked to Nelius? I pulled the trigger on him myself. Mama and Percy, I got justice for them. But before he died, Nelius told Lucy you killed his family on the Patriarch's orders. Is this true? It's complicated. I... No, no, it's not. I won't lie to you, Lucia. Not when you're all I have left. Nelius told you the truth. Oh, Daddy. I I'm sorry, darling. Truly. You see, years ago, the Patriarch asked me to get some men together and disrupt a meeting of the Dorseys, who were agitating to establish elections in Colorado. Saul, he, he didn't feel it was time for that yet. So we showed up in hoods, brandishing clubs, ready to teach them all a lesson. But it only took one Dorsey fighting back, and I started shooting instead of swinging. I, I was just so mad that they'd turn on the man who had saved us all. Well, once one was dead, we had to kill the rest, didn't we? I mean, we, we couldn't let my sins tarnish Saul's reputation. Hmm. So we hunted him down. <laughs> Until Nelius showed up at our doorstep, I thought we'd got them all. Did the Patriarch order you to kill the Dorseys? I... Uh, not in so many words. Hmm. Maybe I just thought that's what he wanted. He certainly wasn't displeased when I told him what had happened. He just told me to be damn sure I got all the witnesses. And we... We never spoke of it again. This is who we're dealing with, Lucia. Oh, Daddy. Mama and Percy. You... They... They'd still be alive if you hadn't killed those Dorseys. It all comes back around to you. <laughs> what do I do now, Rangers? Mm. What do I do with my father? The Dorsey's are gone now. It's all of the past. Let him come home. Forgive him? Forget his crime? Let him escape justice? After he has told me since birth to pursue justice at all costs. Daughter, I promise I will never forget my crime. 
and if justice means making me suffer for it, I assure you the knowledge of the bloodshed I have birthed will torture me for the rest of my life. And if that's not enough, then turn me over to the marshals. I will accept their judgment, whatever it is. All right, Daddy. I'll make that decision when I've had more time to think on it. Let's go home. Not that, you see, we still need you. That's right, Rangers. Forgive me. There's work yet to be done, isn't there? Daddy, I'll see you at home. I'll be there when you get back. I promise. I love you, Lucia. Never forget that. Be a better Wesson than I was. I just forget? Yeah, I mean, all the people that you... That w they killed are dead. All the people that killed them are dead. So, there's no one left. Literally, nobody left. Return to Colorado Springs. Okay. Now, the seer may still turn on me and I may still end up having to kill her. But, again, keep the rangers alive. I'm going to have to go against Angela. There's no point uh, being, you know, morally completely sound if we don't have a future. Solution built and ready for execution. As you approach, you recognize the hooded figure of Satoshi, the hacker who gave you the mysterious case in downtown Colorado Springs. Sensor config. He holds down his hand, ready for you to pass him the case. Here you go. Compiler report. Zero errors. Zero warnings. Running constructors. So Toshi sets the case to the ground and presses a button on a small control pad inside his robe. The case opens and folds, and the interior panels fold in on themselves. The process repeats to Satoshi waits to take the uniform object. The sensor data stream has produced a viable enhancement model. Device recorded hours of agent activity and constructed final device to maximize efficiency. A flash of pride curls the edge of Satoshi's mouth as he turns to walk away. He's proud of me for never opening this box. Which I didn't do. Armor 31. Armor 15. Armor 15. Oh yeah. Extremely strong and cool. Right. I need 8 strength, I haven't got 8 strength. I need 7 strength, I haven't got 7 strength either. Sheep. They're just better versions of what I've already got. Yeah, I'm pretty strong now. I mean, I've got a shotgun, I should be pretty strong. At least I should have a lot of armor. I miss so much shit. All the time I'm missing shit. Okay, cool. Toaster 10 will have to remain unopened, I'm afraid. And the badger will remain ungotten this playthrough. But that means I get to stick with the wolf, so that's fine. I'll see you guys next time when we return to Colorado Springs and all hell breaks loose, probably. See you then. Goodbye.